Okay, so today I want to show you some of the toys we have in our store. We'll start off with the cat corner. We have a little cat section in the store. So you'll see the long cat scratcher. And over here, cat dancer, which has always been a very popular, inexpensive toy. We've got a bunch of catnip toys. These are really cute, different uh, little snack things. This guy's in a sandwich. And then we have our Putin and our Trump. We have some springs here. These are the smaller ones. These are the bigger ones. Some more catnip toys. Laser. Uh, wand toys. Most cats seem to love these. This, this toy has a little light here at the top. Uh, this is called the funny bopper and it will light up when you sort of bang it. Again, another kind of wand with fleece. These are called jungle gems, just cute little toys with catnip. Uh, that's seagrass, it seems like a lot of the cats do like the seagrass. These little balls do light up when banged as well. And that's basically it for our cat toys, just a small little corner, but we're happy to bring anything in for you you might want. Okay, now we're at a dog area. So this is our back wall. Lots of good tough Kong toys. Uh, good for this time of year if you can get out somewhere to play with your dog. Some uh, balls. These Kong balls squeak. Three different sizes. I think we're missing the small, but large and medium small should be coming soon. These are some different Kong treat toys where you can stuff treats, kibble, whatever you want in there. And it keeps your Pet and Gage, this is a tough toy. It really is pretty tough uh, just to play with and throw. This is an LED disc, good for uh, when it's dark out. And uh, you know, often people do like to take their dogs out even quite late in the summer when it's dark. So that's that wall. We also have over here on the other back wall, uh, some zombie toys, they're kind of cute. And a few more balls that can go with the Chuck It. Over here, we've got some good chew toys just to keep your dog busy. Good little chew toys. Okay, now we're towards the front of the store. This Beco Pets is a very good uh, manufacturer. It's natural rubber. They are guaranteed. They feel soft, but they're very hard uh, for the dog to destroy. These ropes here are hemp, which means they're digestible. If your dog can chew the rope, and it will be digested if swallowed. And we've got some really good uh, throw toys here. These balls are a little harder, but they're not soft like some of the others, but it's good for throwing, chewing, playing. These bones here, you can put treats in them at the side. They have all got that, the small, medium, and large all have the side area. Then over here where we've got treats, we also have toys on this wall. So JW makes some really cool toys. This and this and this are all toys that are treat dispensing toys. So you can put things into it and your dog will be challenged. This is called an arachnoid ball. It actually won toy of the year a few years ago. It squeaks and it just rolls kind of strange. So dogs love it. Big dogs love these chains. They're called invincible. They are pretty hard to get through and you know great for tugging throwing dogs playing with each other so they really like it this hedgehog has been very popular this small and medium i don't know if you'll be able to hear it let's see i don't know if i can get it to squeak one hand on the phone and one hand trying to squeak but there you go hopefully you heard that <laughs> this is a fairly tough toy part of the beagle family that i showed you with the rubber uh, so we've got a monkey here and a giraffe, pretty cute. Uh, Skinny's toys with the bottle inside, so you can replace the bottle if need be. Dogs love the crackle. These uh, monkeys are really cute. They, uh, it's hard for me to do it again one-handed, but the uh, leg and the arm are detached, so you pull one and it just pulls up and, up and down and up and down like that. Uh, this guy's kind of funny. He's, uh, he's called something like an angry onion. Uh, what's he called? 
well, steamed vegetables, but he actually has some name. So he's kind of cute for a bigger dog. These are great for little dogs. They're really tiny. They have a squeaker. They come with an extra squeaker. Little dogs love them. Uh, again, some more for a smaller dog. This is Go Dog, which is a good brand, a little tougher than the average. Nothing is indestructible. Again, and Go Dog, this is just a small little fluff ball. It's called a fuzz ball, I think. Bigger one. These are uh, don't destroy as much either because the squeaker is fairly big. This thing here is called the chew ball. You can throw it. You can take the rope out. You can put treats in it. Very, very long lasting. We have a smaller one that we've had for good, probably eight, nine years. Uh, Cotton Pals, again, a little harder to destroy because it's so tight, all the rope. So hippopotamus, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, these are called interactive tug toys. They just make different noises, crinkly. And there's a squeaker in the middle. Uh, no real stuffing, so dogs really enjoy it. And the Chuck It. We may be getting some other sizes in soon. They have just been uh, sold out. Lamb Chop, again, very, very popular. This is tiny, great for small dogs. And here's a slightly bigger one. Over here, we have these funny looking things. They're called Cuddle Buddies, and there's all kinds of different animals here. And, and they're, they're just cute and good for any dog, that, especially if they're not a real destroyer. These sloths, we have a big sloth and a little sloth. Same thing, just a cute little fuzzy toy. Same company makes this. It does have a squeaker, and it's called a, it's a lemur. That's what it is. That's why it's called a lemur. <laughs> they're cute. Same company makes this lovely poop emoji and it's actually a ball inside so if they destroy the outside it, there's a ball inside these are unicorns we do find kids often ask their parents to buy the dog the unicorn big one little one over here we've got some latex toys little pig and a slightly bigger pig again these don't destroy that easily you'd think they would but the dogs don't Mr. Bubble, we've got a big and a small. I'll see if I can get the noise going. Okay, and then this is called the Swing and Sleevens. Little ducky, again, uh, dogs that like things that flip around. They'll really like that. And we have one more little area to swing you over where we just have some toys hanging, and that would be these, which are known as tough twists, so they're a little bit tough. And over here we have some more hanging of the, some smaller of the uh, skinnies that people are familiar with that don't have any stuffing. So that's more or less our toys. We can certainly bring in anything you might like, but it's a pretty good variety for uh, big dogs, small dogs, dogs that are tough on toys, dogs that aren't, puppies, just let us know what interests you.